Guys, the, this is next day morning. Sun is not yet up, and I put them outside near the sun. Very soon, I'll be leaving it over here just like that. And when sunlight falls, we'll have like a good three, four hours sunlight on them. And they should be ready by that time. Let's see. I'll check on it in the evening. Now you can see guys just a few hours in the sun and you can see the brine shrimp hatchery rate. See them, you can see them hatched. So what I do, I just put them to one side near the light and they all collect in one side. Then I scoop them up with a straw. Not sure if I can get many but I'll just show you. So there you go. You see, I've collected them over here. And what I'll do, I'll just leave them in the tank. So I just put them in over here. You can see that they're gone. So I have already put the brine shrimp in and uh, these guys are really can't be seen. Uh, I'll just show you a few like uh, not sure if you can see any in the camera. There you go, you can see a few guys swimming. Those are Brian swim. They get attracted to light, so they're coming to one side. So that's what I feed my fry. So guys, you can uh, even store them and keep them in the fridge. What uh, uh, not eaten or like that you can store them in the fridge and keep and uh, you'll know once they hatch you can see them they change color the shrimp so you'll know that they hatched and you can also feed them keeping them in the refrigerator and after that you can feed them as well so now you can see clearly a few maybe swimming you can see if you spot any so that's the cheapest way guys you can hatch brine shrimp cheapest way and the best way so every day i scoop up a little brine shrimp and feed them every day so that's how i'm feeding my fry in the cheapest way i don't pay any electricity to give them oxygen or to light a bulb nothing this cheapest way man cheapest way so like, share, comment, subscribe and let's hope I put a new video up very soon. Thanks.